getting a promotion or progressing in your career in other ways doesn't always come back to simply how hard you're working. It can often be how others perceive you to be doing in that work. The only way to know how people think you're doing is by asking. But like anything else, there are right ways and wrong ways of going about doing this. Do you know the difference? I'm keeping this week's rant short and to the point, there is no reason for you to skip ahead or bail midway through. If you've been following along over the last six months, you've heard me harp on how I want to hire someone who's teachable and humble. This is how you can demonstrate it. Ask for feedback often. If you have one-on-ones with your direct supervisor, you should be asking every single time. This isn't just to pay respect and put them on a pedestal. It's to get a true and real understanding of how they perceive things to be going. Asking on a weekly basis can get annoying. So how do you ask every single week? Ask for specific feedback. How do you think I did in that presentation? Any advice on conducting my next dev review? Where could I improve in my research? Asking for specifics keeps things from being too open-ended. In my experience, asking large open-ended feedback questions will just get you the response of, I think you're doing great. Even if they don't actually feel that way, it could simply mean, oh man, you're struggling, but I really don't have time to get into it right now. Keeping feedback small and specific won't give you a complete overview of how you're doing, but over time, asking consistently will give you a greater picture. If you can get into the habit of asking for feedback, there will be no doubts as to being on the same page. Lastly, always be open and ready to receive feedback. I know it can make you feel this big when someone says, hey, can I give you some feedback? But if you created the habit and the healthy environment of giving and receiving feedback, this should be way less painful. When it's time to receive feedback, don't get defensive. Consider that if someone's gonna give you feedback, it's because they care. Really, it's a lot easier for me not to have the conversation at all. I don't enjoy being in this situation, but I do want to see improvement and I do care about how the team's performing, so I will give you the feedback. If you're on the receiving end, take it as a compliment. Maybe the feedback's a little confusing or open-ended for interpretation. Don't let that stop there. If you don't understand it completely, ask clarifying questions or ask for examples. Doing those things will make sure you're on the same page. I know I said lastly already, but this is really the last one. One thing I came across in some of my research was changing the word of feedback to advice takes down the walls that people put up when they ask or they're asked to give or take feedback. Feedback can come with a ton of baggage or negative connotation. So instead of asking, what feedback can you give me on these mocks? Try asking, what advice do you have for me on these mocks? The research showed that people interpret advice with warmer feelings. Really, we are so vain. People love to give their advice. I'm gonna give that a go in my future. Maybe I'll do a follow up later on on this topic. But try it out yourself. Get into the habit of asking for feedback often. Get into the, the habit of asking for feedback specific. Uh, specific examples will make sure you're on the same page uh, and they'll give you a variety of thoughts in the end. Then most importantly, when you open yourself up for feedback, be ready to take it. Make sure those defensive walls don't come up. So schedule your next one-on-one with your direct supervisor and ask for some advice.